from the Gospel Coalition, Christian Living, how to deal with frustrating, sorry, my apologies, how to deal with frustra frustration, frust frustrating Christians, know thyself. September 6, 2022 by Ryan Van Dor and Vote. I think I pronounced that properly. His name, my apologies if I didn't. Are you frustrated by a brother or sister in Christ? It could be a fellow church member or a church leader, either over you or alongside you. It could be your it could be your frustrate frustrating Christian flatmate, a spouse, your kids, regardless there's something they do or something they say, something they don't do or something they don't say which you find consistently frustrating and you wish their actions, words or patterns would change. Community can involve conflict. Community can involve conflict. The background to many of Paul's exhortations for us to love and bear with one another assumes that we all have issues with one another in community. Colossians 3 verse 12 to 14. Why? Because even in Christ we struggle with sin, especially in the context of the relationships around us. Relationships around us. Someone once described it as porcupines in bags. We keep poking one another in the eye or arm or whatever. I'm sure you're not alone in the struggle and I certainly know I, I've caused my own fair share of frustrations for others. So below are three responses that have helped me to navigate my own sin and failings as well as that of others. In a follow up article I share another three for now, here are three ways to respond when engaging frustrate, frustr frustrating Christians. One, examine your own heart. We can easily notice other people's issues, but be blind to our own. We discover the speck before the plank, Matthew 7 verse 3, and yet by the Spirit we need to first pause and examine our own hearts and lives. Obviously this won't fit every scenario, but we should ask the question, could the issue or part of the issue lie more with us than with them? Sometimes our issues with others say and reveal more about us than them. Put another way, sometimes our issues with others say and reveal more about us than about them. Yes, legitimate concerns and problems may exist, perhaps even justified frustration. Nevertheless, before we deal with others, we should first examine ourselves. Examine our, examining ourselves. Perhaps try these diagnostic questions. What might my frustration with others say and reveal about me? What is it that I hold dear that I feel is being threatened or not carried out? Am I judging this person by my own standards or by God's standards? Am I, am I wanting this person to be in my image or Christ's? Uh, in, am I wanting this person to be in my image or Christ's? Check your own heart. What are your circumstances and situations falsely saying about you? Am I judging this person by my own standard or God's? As we pray through this, we might discover that we are more of an issue in this issue than we thought or knew. It could be that we are holding people to a higher standard than we should. It could be that we are so easily frustrated because our own identity in Christ is so fragile. In fact, it is very likely several things, but at the very least, this self-examination might shape us towards a healthier recognition of our own struggles as we humbly wrestle with the struggles of others. 2. Turn to prayer and practice gratitude. There are several good reasons to pray for other Christians that we find, that we find frustrating. If we are, convi are convinced change needs to happen, then only God can do the deeper work. God gives us opportunities to love others even in our issues even in our issues with them. God may walk in you and by his grace soften your own heart. I would suspect that we pray regularly for this person. A few things will take place. God may walk in them by his grace and God may walk in them and by his grace answer your prayers. God may walk in you and by his grace soften your own heart towards them, increasing your love and concern for them. If we are to love our enemies and pray for those who prosecute us, then at the very least we can do the same for saints who exaggerate us, right? Thanksgiving can offset frustration. And perhaps, and this, it may be a good idea to note the good we see in this person. 
Nothing quite drives out complaints like Thanksgiving. Nothing quite drives nothing quite drives out complaints like Thanksgiving. Where can you see your father at work in what this person does, says or thinks? Write points down and actively pray in Thanksgiving for them and God's work in and through them. Note the good in power to keep your heart from growing bitter, but also to keep in mind God's active grace to them. Turn your frustrations about people into prayer and thanksgiving for them. 3. Watch your speech carefully. Far better to talk to God about them than to talk to others about them. But if we do need to talk to others about this person, then we must watch what we say and how we say it. Watch for gossip and slander. Watch for moaning and grumbling. Beware of pride and arrogance. Watch for poisoning other, opi poisoning others' opinions or relationships with this person. Watch for, for lack of grace. Beg the Lord that both what you say and how you say it is his true and gracious. Most of us have people we, we download to, a roommate, friend, maybe a gym buddy, and it can be good to talk to others about those who frustrate us, but beg the Lord that both what we say and how we say it is true and gracious. Many times it can be a fine line, and we need God's grace in this. We need Christian friends who don't pour more oil on the fire, but instead, in godly moments, pull the handbrake up, helping us to watch what we are saying and how we are saying it. Ask for help in applying the previous two points. Beyond any other wisdom and, guard and godliness your shown partner can bring, ask them to help you with our first two points. In other words, ask them to help you. One, keep examining your own motives. Two, pray and give thanks for this person. Then do both of those with this person. In the next article, we'll explore the follow response to frustrating Christian. I don't know where the next article is. Um, it's probably somewhere on this page, but I can't seem to locate it. Um, Alright, uh, thanks for watching this uh, video.